Welcome to Rick's Kits and I have got a new kit to review it's an old kit from uh, Warhammer 40k and it's an Orcs Wasboom Blaster Jet this kit was manufactured in 2011 and I built one when it first came out Sold it to some, sold it to a gamer. I thought I'll build another one. I fancied it, so it's been a long time since I built one. But I'm looking forward to uh, building this again. Now there's four variants in this box. You've got the Wasboom Blaster Jet, which is the one here, and then down the bottom you've got a Orc Burner Bomber. And then you've got an optional assembly for an Orc Daka Jet and an optional assembly for an Orc Blitzer Bomber. The last one I built was a Daka Jet. So let's have a look at the box contents. This is a Games Workshop kit. So on the back you've got another more detailed picture for the Wasboom bomb, sorry, Wasboom blaster jet, and you can customize it with a variety of weapon options. So on the back here, you have a Git Bista turret with twin linked super shooter. Here you have a custom force field or the other option for it is a stink bomb flinger which is these two pictures here then here which look like engine nacelles which would be for your normal aircraft you have the option of a twin linked teleport mega blaster or a twin linked custom mega cannon and then the other option is this rather fancy looking I don't know what it is to be honest with you looks like some sort of death ray thing <coughs> now the orcs have uh, a fine fine way of um, putting their language together they're not a um, what can I say? They don't have super brains. That's why you've got the stick, the stick bomb flinger. Um, with the other options, with the Blitzer bomber down here, the red one. You have the got big shooters, uh, twin linked super shooters, and boom boom bombs which are these big old bombs on the bottom there with the DACA jet it's got twin link super shooters as well as uh, uh, it's got four super shooters and then with the burner bomber down the bottom the yellow one you have twin linked big shooters twin link super shooters and burner bombs, so they're incendiary bombs. So let's break into this and have a look at the the contents. They probably haven't changed since 2011. entirely the Waz bomb blaster steps two and three are for the DACA jet steps two and f two and four are for the blitzer bomber and steps two and five are for the burner bomber 
So, yeah, it looks like a standard oh, Citadel Miniatures uh, box full of plastic, loads of options, and we'll take a look at that in a minute. First of all, we'll have a quick skizzy through the instruction sheet. So my choice of build is going to be the Blitzer Bomber, which is the one down the bottom, it's got swept wings and swept tail, but, but I am going to add parts from the other three aircraft to it, so it's, it's not going to, as um, Warhammer 40k people would know it, the variant which is actually in the box. I shall be adding this big old scoop on the front on from this one I'll be adding the tail and from the burner bomber I'll be adding the rear turret I'll also be adding that nose cone because I like the look of that nose cone Right. inside the instructions there's your colour call outs on the parts that you'll be putting on for each of the four options so you've got yellow for the blaster jet da blue for the daca a pinky purple for the blitz bomber and green for the burner bomber so going into the section one which is entirely the waste bomb blaster jet you have all the standard pieces for each part of the kit and then the pieces in blue are the ones that you're going to be attaching to the kit and the yellow points are where they're telling you to put glue so it's a lot there's a lot that goes into these and they're great fun to build so like I said I'm going to be taking from this this lovely uh, front end it's like a supercharger so I'll be sticking the exhaust in and then having short exhausts out Just putting all the wings and everything on pilots going in or part of the pilots going in that one uh, they're all piloted by orcs uh, you see the orc body here and there's four separate heads available for that body and then the uh, the git as he's called which is the machine gun on the back he's got four option heads as well they provide you with a big old stand and a clear plastic support if I remember rightly these were a pain pain in the backside to put together the stand because you have to open them up so that's the blaster jet now we're on to the DACA jet which is part two and part three again you've got the same body work fusion arch half should I say body work um, what short source it's going on here yeah, it's the option to put a smaller smaller color on the front but I'm going to put the larger intake because I like the look of it there you've got the guns going on and here's the option for the orc pilots you can see that you've got four different heads you're probably not going to see it the top one's got a peak cap 
and you've got one with um, just flying helmet this one's got goggles and a scarf and this one's got a radio and this is the this is the option for a closed canopy these are the options you can use for an open canopy and that's it going on its stands and big old black aeroplane this is Blitzer Bomber again we've got different engine going on the back uh, these have got Sweat wings, well not sweat wings, like like the old on the old Junkers Stuka. So I like the look of those. So we're gonna that's why I'm going with that. But I'm not doing I'm not doing the tail version on that. I'm taking that tail and the exhaust from that one as well. This one has. Gunner in the rear, there's the big old bombs, look. And they're huge. And have a look at those in the plastic. And there's the Gitty going in the back with his machine gun. Or his super shooter. And you've got the canopy options going on. And that makes up into this lovely, lovely red one. And the last is the burner bomber. Again, they're using the same fuse, large, same uh, the tail section is, gets altered slightly. Um, you've got different bits going on on the wings. You've got like napalm on the back. Loads of cluster bomb types on the bottom. And your options for you. Uh, head options and canopy options for the aircraft itself in the back because it's a gaming piece I'll give you all the bits and pieces for how to play with how to play it on the desktop So what you got there? A smasher gun, stick bomb flinger, super shooter, teleport mega blaster, and a was bomb mega cannon. So that's the destructions, all in different languages. They don't give you any gaming options for the other three, but you pick those up in there. in their books in their law books or well, their army books should I say alright so let's have a dig into the box so first out of the sprue are the clear parts uh, let me see it's games workshop 2011 they are not The best of parts. There's spider in 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 that piece. There's a bit of spider in in that one. It looks like scratches in the others. But then I'm not surprised. It is twenty odd years. Look, twenty odd years. It's about ten years old. Oh, stick into the paperwork right let's have a look on the screws this is part of the stand it's the clear part of the stand first sprue up as you can see they absolutely fill their sprues chock a block with plastic let me turn this over the other way I mean, for a for a gaming piece, I mean, it's just well well done. You know, it's got panel lines, 
loads of bolts, bolt heads, etc. everywhere. So the thing with the orcs, when they build me mechanised units, they build them all out of spare parts. So if you have a battle with the orcs and you lose, they'll take all the necessary bits and pieces to make their own technology uh, yeah I remember this and very fondly this kit that's uh, the orc's body the big old nub, nub in the middle there is for where the head goes on um, you're not going to be able to see this very well on camera, I would have thought, because it's quite shiny plastic. But here we've got the four head options for the orc himself. Yeah, not going to get it in. I'm sorry about that, but the camera's not very good with shiny plastic, and the light coming from above is making it a bit hard to see on camera. And then you've got the little git and he's got three head options there these are some of the weapons the guns there's the cockpit, it's not not a detailed cockpit but it's a cockpit that's for the sorry about that smashed the camera that's for the uh, guns on the back forgetting me words so on this next brew here's all the weapons or most of the weapons here's the uh, big old bombs that's one of the cowlings for the top that's one of the other cowlings on the top right turbo inducers that you have, have on the top of a, an American car. Down here you've got bits for the wings, there your air launch, exhausts, gun sights, flip it over and then you've got another tub here for a different pilot option and that's the control panel for the cockpit if you don't hear me very well it's been thundering so you might end up picking that up but yeah it's a nicely detailed kit the only niggly thing I think with these kits and all of their kits if they're not that fine plastic stuff as the sprue gates they are absolutely horrendous they've always been horrendous and I find them a pain in the backside to get off because you're cutting out and filing down on parts that are in a lot of cases pretty visible they have got better with their with their stuff. So we've got more exhausts here at the top. These are the uh, teleporty options, the twin teleporter shooters. You've got another cockpit control panel. More exhausts. These are the smaller exhausts that I'm going to use. And down here you've got that nice big lovely big bit that sticks out the front which I'm going to use and that's the other part I'll be using and then what else we got on here got ammunition belts for the guns wiring looms 
loads of spent cartridges inside there. Well, it's, it's done well for its age. Still very, very, very crisp. And it's something of that age, this age, you generally expect there to be horrible seam lines and flash and everything all over the place, but it's not. It's very, very clean. Very clean indeed. Right, so this is the last sprue, and this one we've got wings with loads of wiring looms inside uh, more aerolons aerolons and aerolons I can't remember how to say those words a couple more guns down here uh, ammunition coming in to feed these guns which sit in the wings and you've got the tail here and that's a good thing with this towel is um, the option to put these pieces so you can have them at the top or you can have them halfway down the option is there and if you don't use that option halfway down it just looks like a piece of the kit that's the engine that's going on the back these are the dive brakes and you've got an old skull and crossbones on there can't tell you what the clans were because I wasn't very good with that but I think one of them was the yellow one was something to do with gits yeah still very nice plastic that's all your plastic, loads of plastic, loads of options. Try and change it around, which is what I'm going to be doing. Uh, and the other, there's the base. Like I said, you've got to cut that out to get that stand on. Nightmare. Okay, let's take a bushti at the deco sheet. Now, from what I can see, we'll try and get in a bit closer if we can. Try and get that glare from the light off. The decals, or the transfer sheet as they call it. They're all nicely in register. That isn't the issue. The issue is, is they're a pain in the bum to put on. But they are nice decals. Up the top here, just about to see them. Got the skull and crossbones. What looks like a skull of a horned animal of some sort. Small skull and crossbones. Um, crikey. Let's try and get that when we see it. No, oh, there you go. That's a orc face. These are orc faces. So are these, these are all clans. Different clans. Down here, you've got all the technical decals going on the side of bombs and things. So some of those are like electrical bits that, that's obviously guns and oh, it's crazy how they do their stuff and down here you've got kill kill markings try and get that in if I can and they're not very good at counting because that says five that's three with a slash three with a four so yeah But, like I said, for a 20, 2011 kit, it's showing, not showing its age. I'm actually looking forward to uh, Flash Gits Yellow. Rings a bell. 
I think the yellow I think that these this one's here or the flash gets for me to remember the other ones should have done the research and yeah it's a good kit I'm looking forward to building it bring back memories Associated Blitzer Bomber, Dacker Jet, and Burner Bomber. I look forward to the build. Hope you'll join me. If you liked this review, please leave a like down below. Same if you want to leave a comment and tell me who the orc units were and please feel free to do so as long as you're polite about it and if you want to su subscribe please do I'll see you in the build. Thank you for watching.